Hey guys, what's going on? Anonymous 2K back on the channel once again. This is the last day of February, uh, the 28th of the February, and we have the last day of doing the uh, the, the new dimensional Dormammu Rift. Let's call it Dormammu Rift. So I'm going to do the uh, beginner and um, what's the next one? And the normal one. It's going to be two beginners and one normal uh, in this video. Uh, of course, we have like eight hours to do that. Uh, this is going to be a tribute to Thor as well. We got him right here up there uh, Because come tomorrow he will be a garbage champion right now. He is a god Well, he is a god and tomorrow he's gonna be just nothing So what we're going to do we're gonna take real quick and do the uh, dimensional rift right here But before we're gonna go into them. I just want to take a quick look what we can get out of those of course, this picture is from uh, uh, True Cost. Uh, in the tier one, we can get basically the two star awakening and signature abilities, three star signature abilities, uh, and uh, tier three, tier three um, basic catalyst. Oh my God, I got a blackout on there. Uh, we have a three star and a premium, uh, a premium uh, shards as well. In my opinion, the best thing to get out of this is the three star uh, signature abilities because, well, everything else we can get easy in the, in the game. And I do have, well, a lot of awakening gems for the three stars that I'm just selling because I can't get anything. As far as the tier two, um, as far as the tier two uh, rift, the normal rift, uh, we can get an alpha, a basic one, a three-star awakening gem, and a three-star signature stone ability as well. As uh, we can get a four-star, um, four-star uh, shards. And in the tier two rift, uh, the best thing to get for me is a four-star, um, the four-star shards actually, because that's the one that I really want to get, other than anything else. So. Let's real quick go back to the game and just go into it. When you start it, of course, you have the one hour to finish it. And when you finish it, if you, if you can't finish it in time, that's a problem. Let's just take, um, where's Thor? Yeah, I'm going to use, you know what? I'm going to put them all just for fun of it. But we're going to use Thor for the sim, uh, symbolics, for the symbolistics, uh, symbolism, I don't know. For the symbolistic symbolism. Anyway, we're going to use Thor. So, uh, three star awakening gem. We definitely don't want that. Don't want that. Well, the idea will be to get this uh, four star chest or the signature ability stones because, as, as I said, this is the best thing you can get um, for somebody that is uh, advanced as I am. Where's Thor? There we go. Okay, so about the nerf, the the twelve point zero patch that is coming, it's my opinion, it's it's other bullshit. Whatever they doing, I know that a lot of YouTubers are going. Let's just see what's going to be and let's wait for it. I'm not I'm not going to say that because in my opinion, they just they're doing great things. They're doing a lot of good things, but with that, let's just chance it, chance it, chance it, chance it. And we got a one star chest. <laughs> on actually on the um, on the duck oh on the Doctor Strange I got twice uh, the signature abilities and I got a lot of shards there, so hope I would get the ten uh, tier three signature abilities here as well. Anyway back to the um, Back to the patch. What I'm saying is this, all right? Um, I'm all for it to do the change. I don't care that they're changing um, the, f the the percentage rate to the flat rate because that's how the game is supposed to work, maybe, or it's going to be working for them a little better. Better. I don't really care about that. That's their decision. That's the the game that they're running. But what actually furious like angers me a lot is that they're not nerfing. Thor and Black Widow and uh, Scarl Witch, they're actually castrating them. So I do understand that a lot of people are using Thor to 
win the big fights, you know, three and four and five armor breaks and just using the L3. So, in my opinion, you want to just bypass, you just want to, you want to, like, do something against it. Do whatever you did in the Labyrinth, you know, put, like, a 50,000 uh, health uh, damage per hit cap or something like that. I, I don't know, maybe 30,000 cap or... 40,000, I don't know, that, that's that's something that you can do, because whatever you did there worked perfectly. Nobody uses Thor to clear uh, the Labyrinth, or the road, uh, well, the road maybe, I don't know, but to clear the Labyrinth, nobody uses that, you know, so that is something to maybe keep, uh, they can, they could have kept in mind while nerfing uh, the champions, or maybe instead of doing the limit to one armor break they could have done two because two armor breaks is not gonna make him overpowered while is still a good champion you know because without the armor breaks thor is like not even in the middle he is way 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 below the middle so that's what i'm thinking regarding the thor uh, if they wanted to nerf him, that's okay. Uh, he is too overpowered, but I don't think they should have nerfed it, nerfed it uh, as much. Maybe kept at two armor breaks. In my opinion, that would be logical, and that would be a lot, uh, a lot better instead of the one. But it's not just instead of the one. It's about. 1,000 premium shards. Holy crap. I have to write that. Okay, so uh, as I said... Limited to 2 would be a lot better. A lot... Thor-like, like, like, like God-like. And there is a spot right there in the... Um, in the um, in the patch note that they're saying that they're gonna be do you see Thor's hammer? He's furious about the changes. <laughs> uh, they're saying that they're gonna be rare champions. The ra the rarity factor is gonna kick in. So how about taking all those uh, broken air quotes broken champions and make them rare? Or something. I don't know. Take all the Depth of Strangers. Take all the Thors. Take all the Scarlet Witches. Take all the Black Widows. And just delete them from everybody who has them. And everybody who has them, just give them something like in return. I don't know, like Crystal Shards or Units or something. Compensate them in any way. And make those champions rare. So make them to grind for them again or something. Well, you know, th that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, same thing here. So basically what happens is that a lot of people just like me that use real money into the game to get those champions to awaken those champions. I use real money to awaken uh, or I don't remember. I, I do think it was Scar Witch that I used real money just to get the awakening gem and whatnot uh, with a $50 deal that was for a certain class awakening gem and the twin signature stones so i bought that and now they're gonna nerf it and get that back it's not gonna, it's gonna do me any good because all my other mystic champions are awakened so what i'm gonna do uh i can't get the money back right so this is utter bullshit in my opinion and i wish uh, i kept the good luck for other um for other rifts but hey okay so basically that's what I'm thinking and this is utter bullcrap that they're doing it that they're just changing all that significantly I literally just got to awaken my Thor like a week or two weeks ago you saw the video that I put out and took him up there and uh, pumped like 30 or 40 signature stones into him well, even if, if I'm going to take him down, like rank him down or something, nobody's going to return those 30 uh, signature abilities so I can put on someone else, right? We're going to do that as well. We give, uh, Is the Kabam going to give me the uh, opportunity to just take the signature abilities 
and take them off. I did use the stones on them, right? So th th that is the something that I'm actually furious about because they just don't really care about what they're doing. It's like our game, do it our way, or just maybe it's it, it's it's a good time to just maybe get out because I did spend a lot of money on the game and I never spent money playing games, right? So this is the first game that actually said that, well, I enjoy it. How about spending money? Maybe I get better stuff, and I did it. And right now, I'm very, 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 um, I have, I'm like, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I'm one of the people that most definitely not going to spend any more money on the game. And I was spending uh, like a couple of, maybe a hundred or something dollars on, on a monthly basis. And well, that's going to stop. I know that this was not supposed to be a rant video, but still, I've been um, to Russia for the last week. My cousin got married, so I didn't have the chance to put out any new content this week. So I didn't have the chance to do uh, the patch note video. And I'm kind of using this uh, riff thing to do this right now. So. I do agree that a lot of champions there need to be worked on, get a little boosted, but even in the MCU, you have, not just in the MCU, even in the Marvel Universe, right, comics, uh, movies, it doesn't matter, you do have those champions that are right up there and the champions that are right down here, right, you, you can't take, um, all right, we did that. We got a ten. Okay, so we're gonna move on. You can't take a Punisher, or I don't know. We have that Spider Gwen, maybe, or, or freaking Joe Fix It. I'm not talking about the in-game. Wait, let's just see what we have. What do we have? What do we have? Nothing good. I mean, like Alpha, this is the best, or the signatures. Well, we don't care. As I was saying, you, you have all those regular superheroes, you know, the Joe Fix It, maybe, the Electra, the Daredevil, all those guys, and that most definitely are not. As strong as Thor or Doctor Strange or Ultron or even I don't know uh, Dormammu. Well, they're on a different level. Thor is a freaking god in the Marvel universe. He's a god, right? So even Vision, he's an artificial. He's an artificial intelligence, right? And he's got a, the stone in, embedded in his forehead, right? So he's one of the strongest being alive in the Marvel universe. So how in hell can you compare them into the regular ones? I mean, like, seriously, there's no way they're even in the same playing level, in the playing field, or whatever you say, right? So you can take, uh, you can take a game and do like, a, we're going to take a Thor that is a god in Marvel Universe, and we're going to, you know... Make him uh, equal as uh, as Daredevil because Daredevil is a blind guy that has got his senses uh, sharpened a little bit, but he's supposed to be at the same power level as uh, as Thor because duh, that's the game. Fuck no! You have to make like levels. You have to make like sixty percent or fifty percent or I don't know. You know what? Make even seventy percent. I'm not, make even 70% of the uh, chance that you roll, uh, that you open a crystal, make 70% that you get a crappy uh, champion, like somebody that is not a god to your champion. Make 20% that you get a really good champion, I don't know, someone someone in the middle, and make uh, 10 or even 5, uh, 
percent cha chance that you get a god tier champion. I mean, like, wait, how many? How many? I was renting and I forgot how much uh, energy do you need for um, three? Yeah, that's good. Well, um, where I was? Where was I? Yeah, Caban one should have taken um, all the champions and divided into like three categories or something: uh, common champions, uh, good champions, and god tier champions, or something like that. You know, and you have the god tier champions uh, such as Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, Thor. Uh, you have the Ultron. You have all those champions that uh, Dormammu. All those champions that are uh, really god champions. In a uh, Marvel Universe, I mean, like, th th they're actually freaking strong, right? Uh, Kang even, he, he is a being, okay? And you should have taken the other champions that are really good champions, such as, I don't know, maybe Wolverine is a good champion. Um, uh, War Captain World War II is a good champion. Uh, Nightcrawler is a good champion. Uh, and put those in a good champion tier. Right, and the all the other champions, you, you, you should make them um common champions, right? Uh, you can do it like sil gold, silver, and bronze uh, uh, champions or something, right? And every time you roll, let's say a four star champion, a four star crystal, you have seventy percent of getting the common champion, you have twenty percent of getting a good champion, and five and ten percent or even five percent of getting the god tier champion. So in that point, you do have a levels that you do want to uh, get to the uh, that point because nobody in the game is gonna take uh, like fifty or sixty champions and gonna use them all together, right? Everybody got those five, ten champions that they commonly use. I knew have those as well. I had like six or seven champions that I like to use, and those are the end game champions, and that's the, that's the point. You should have made uh, brackets. Or tears or something instead of uh, trying to may trying to come and say that every champion should be in the same uh, power level it's not comprehensible it's not true it's not it's not gonna it's not gonna go it's it shouldn't be there right and we got 300 um, four star shards right Alright, so basically that is what I'm upset about a lot. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more in the next two um, dimensional rifts. But for now, um, those were the rifts, and we got pretty decent stuff, I guess. For the second run uh, for of the uh, normal rift, we got uh, 300 four star shards. I'm quite happy with that. Well, basically, guys, uh, if you're not familiar with the channel, uh, you have the subscribe button right there. You can click it to subscribe, like it, share it. Uh, and of course, I'm going to continue this in the next episode and we're gonna, I'm gonna see you in a bit and as always guys see you soon